for today's video. We are doing a what I eat in a week back in the gym. So, so I know I talked about this a couple times on here, but my partner and I did Caroline Gervin's 10 week epic heat challenge. challenge we took about a week off from lifting weights or going to the gym we did other forms of movement that week um, running hiking walking more time for yoga just stuff like that we kind of took it easy for a week but then we had to get right back into the gym so that is this week what we ate getting right back into the gym right back to lifting and going hard before we jump into that though, don't forget to check the description down below for recipes and hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, let's jump into it. I got salsa on my nose ring. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty good. I've never made a chimichanga before. Um, and I didn't deep fry it, I air fried it, but it's still like really crispy shell, toasted perfectly. It holds itself together, like it's not falling apart. And I think it's good. Lime juice. I didn't know if you needed a fork to eat this or what. I don't know. So. You never had a chimichanga before? No, I've never had a chimichanga before.
My plan was to make avocado toast for lunch today because we're planning on having noodles for dinner, but none of my avocados are ripe. So we're just gonna go ahead and have the orzo salad that I planned. I don't really like olives, that's why I only put a couple on top of mine and I actually mixed it into his. And we've got the garlic and herb tree nut cheese. That's actually really good. When I first tasted the dressing after I made the dressing, it was really, really strong. It's uh, mostly red wine vinegar. That's why I was afraid it was gonna be too strong, but mixed into everything, it's really good. Mm. Mm Okay, so this is a twist on somen. It is so hot outside and we love having somen, but I don't want to eat just noodles and sauce. So I have made this somen salad with a new vegan ham that I found that's so good with some just egg and some lettuce from the farmer's market, carrots, cabbage, and I added a cornstarch slurry to the somen sauce so that it would make it like a thicker dressing so it would stick to the noodles and all of the goodness. I also put some pickled ginger on top, green onions, and sesame seeds, and I will have a recipe for this or down in the description. I'm so excited to try it. It's time to make a little dessert because my partner and I both want something sweet. So I'm going to make peanut butter date bites with cacao nibs on top. I don't know why, but like the past couple of weeks, I've been just obsessed with peanut butter. I never really liked peanut butter growing up and I like it as an adult, but I didn't eat it all the time. But like, I don't know if it's like Linda Sun's fault or something because I've watched her videos and she's obsessed with peanut butter, but that obsession has rubbed off onto me. But I still make sure to get organic peanut butter that's nothing but peanuts and a pinch of salt. So there's no added oil. I'm splitting these with my partner, so I'm not having all of these. I feel like these would also be a really good snack before the gym. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm hungry and I want to eat before I go to the gym. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on the day. Perfect, quick, easy dessert or snack. Tamping that down was so hard because today was arm day. My arms were so tired. Oh my goodness, so much peanut butter still stuck to the spoon. I'm so excited for this.
Alright, let's try this avocado toast. Mmm. This is a little bit different than what I usually make for avocado toast. It's more like savory basil and tomatoes and stuff on it, but it's so good. A little bit of habanero smoked salt and some broccoli greens, but it's so good. I'm so excited to have this again. It is so good. I remember the other night, it was so good. That's why I grabbed a fork. These are so good. I feel like they could have used a little bit more cinnamon, but they're really good. You try. Mm -hmm. They're whole wheat and they have oats in them and lots of peanut butter. Mm. Okay, just one more to take to the couch. <laughs> So excited to have this orzo salad again because it's so yummy. I hope you're excited as well. Mm -hmm. It is very much yum. And it was even easier to throw together today because the orzo was already cooked, so I just mixed it all up. It was yum. Much yum. It is much yum. Mmm. -hmm. Soman salad, part two. 
No, I do not get tired of having the same things all week because they're so delicious. I mean, who wouldn't like a big bowl of noodles? All tied and hello. Hi. Sorry, we're late. Amy took. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave me a comment down below with your favorite meal, your favorite recipe that was made this week. Mine was definitely the chimichangas. They were so good. I can't wait to make them again. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all.